Hi guys, this is Chef Dusto from the Star Gold Coast. Welcome to my place. And today I'm going to share with you my recipe for potato gnocchi. Uh, the thing probably most important about potato gnocchi would be the potatoes themselves. So what we have is two kilos of brushed potatoes, woolies. Clean them off really, really well, dry them, olive oil and salt. Put them in a 175 degree oven for roughly 45 to 55 minutes until you can put a knife in and out. It comes out cleanly without the potato sticking. Essentially now what we're going to do is we're going to cut those open. And then I'm just going to open them up a bit. I'm going to let them steam out for roughly 15 minutes. We're just going to set those aside now. Like I said, roughly 10 to 15 minutes until they stop steaming. In the meantime, that gives you time to get the rest of your ingredients prepared. So what we've done is I've sifted together here about 300 grams of regular flour and 100 grams of potato starch, or you can use corn starch if you'd like to. Then also we've done uh, 20 grams of grated Parmesan cheese, um, two egg yolks, uh, about 20 grams of just regular table salt, and then I also put a pinch of nutmeg into the flour um, mixture as well. So and I sifted that all together. All right, so potatoes have now steamed out. We're gonna to start to remove that potato and we're gonna put it into a sieve. I'm just gonna pass that through. So we've got all of our potatoes nicely sieved. We're gonna take some of our flour mixture and we're just gonna dust liberally over the counter. And I'm gonna just take my potatoes and I'm gonna spread them out a little bit in clumps here and there all over my floured surface. So once I've got that done, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna dust it again with some more flour. Then I'm gonna take my cheese and I'm gonna spread that out over the top as well. I'm gonna take my salt and liberally spread that out as well. Then my two egg yolks, drizzle that around. So now you're just using your fingertips and we're just gonna start sort of mixing this all together a little bit at a time, bringing it all together. Stop there, I'm gonna to start to bring it together now using my, my hands to really form it. Turn to itself a bit. What I'm gonna do now, is I'm just gonna sort of form it into a little bit of a, a log, like this. Now I'm gonna cover that with a kitchen towel, and I'm gonna leave that sit for about 20 minutes and let it rest. Okay, folks, now we're ready to start forming our gnocchi. So, I'm gonna go ahead, again, dust the bench with some of that flour. Go ahead and cut off a piece of a potato log. I'm gonna start rolling these out. And once we get it to about, I call that nickel size, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start cutting pieces. And as I cut pieces, I'm gonna make that famous little pillow shape by just cutting, squeezing. Cut, squeeze. Cut. I've lined my sheet trays with uh, a little bit of baking paper. And the reason I do that is because it's gonna make it easier for me later to just pick that baking paper up and pour it all of these gnocchi directly into the boiling water. Okay, so now we're at the stove. All of our gnocchi are beautifully formed. So floured up, ready to go. They're on that baking paper. I've got my pot of boiling water. The next thing I have in line is a big bowl of ice. And over here, I've got an oiled pan. I can just literally bring them over and scoop them right in. Stir them just a tiny bit so they don't stick together. Okay, so now we know they're done because they've all started to float to the top. So as soon as they float to the top, we take them out gently and them straight into our ice bath. And now I'll do my second batch. I'm gonna let this water come back to a boil. Um, in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll um, take these out and I'll toss them in oil um, and then reset my ice bath for the next batch. So I've added some thickened cream into a pot and you can see now it's starting to come to a simmer. 
And I've made some uh, homemade basil pesto. And I'm just gonna add that into my cream and slowly let that come back to a simmer and keep on stirring that in. So here we are outside in my home garden. Um, so we're gonna pick a few of these tomatoes, little um, orange tomatoes, they're super sweet. Um, and we're gonna put these on top of our gnocchi. Just snipping off the very tops of the basil. Okay, so we've melted up that basil in that cream, so you can see it's wonderful. We're gonna set that aside. Um, now I put a small pan on over high heat, um, and I'm getting that thing smoking hot because I want to very quickly add a tiny little bit of oil, um, and then I'm gonna pour those little tomatoes in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add those in, and roll them around the pan. So all we need is a generous amount of butter and a hot pan. We're now ready to go ahead and add our gnocchi. Once the gnocchi is in, just let it sit. You don't have to shake the pan around a lot, just let it sit for a minute, let it brown. We're just gonna season them just a little bit. They did have some salt inside, we did use salted water. I tasted them though, and they need just a little bit more salt. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of pepper on them as well. So now, you can see how beautiful and brown they've got. Pour the sauce directly in the pan. Mm. Those are ready to go in a bowl now. Now it's warm again, so because it's warm, you gotta be careful with it. I'm just gonna put our tomatoes on there. Rip up a few pieces of fresh basil. Maybe first you put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top like that. A little bit of pepper. A piece of basil. And there you have it. Homemade potato gnocchi.